Your new fire apparatus is equipped with a state-of-the-art pressure governing system. The captain pressure governor communicates with the electronic engine to adjust RPM and pump pressure. Operation of the governor is simple. A touchpad display mounted on the pump panel controls all governor functions. Let's take a moment to review the pressure governor display. The mode switch selects RPM or pressure operation. The increase and decrease switches manually adjust RPM and pressure. The preset switch is used to achieve a pre-programmed RPM or pressure. The idle switch immediately returns the engine to idle. Also included on the governor is a message center and LED lights to indicate pump engaged, OK to pump, and throttle ready. When the unit is powered up, the display will show mode and the engine will remain at idle until the mode switch is pressed to select the desired operating mode, either pressure or RPM. If the pump is engaged and the OK to pump LED is illuminated, pressure will be the first mode selected. Otherwise, RPM will automatically be the first mode. When the unit is operating in the pressure mode, the display will show PSI mode and the amber pressure LED will be illuminated. Pump pressure is set using the preset, increase, or decrease switches. The governor will maintain the last pressure achieved with these switches and the display will indicate increase or decrease as appropriate. The governor maintains pump pressure by controlling engine RPM in response to a signal from the pressure transducer in the pump. When the unit is in RPM mode, the display will read RPM mode and the green RPM LED will be illuminated. Engine speed is controlled by the increase and decrease switches and the display will indicate increase or decrease as appropriate. The governor will maintain the last speed attained by these switches. Warning! RPM mode does not offer pump discharge pressure control. Only pressure mode offers pump discharge pressure control. The operator can switch between RPM and pressure modes without a significant change in RPM or pump pressure. Pressing the preset switch in either mode will control the engine to attain either the preset RPM or pump pressure set in governor memory. On some units, RPM preset function is disabled when the pump is pressurized above 10 psi. A preset RPM or high idle option may be installed on your apparatus. When the governor is operating in this mode, the display will read high idle. High idle is not available when operating in pressure or RPM mode, if the pump is engaged, or if there is greater than 10 pounds of pressure in the pump. Press and hold the idle switch at any time to return the engine to idle speed. When the governor is initially powered up, the message center will display mode and neither the RPM nor the pressure LED will be illuminated. You must select an operating mode using the mode switch before the governor will function. The governor will check for a valid pressure transducer signal at power up. If no signal is found, sensor will be displayed in the message center. While sensor is displayed, the governor acts as a throttle only and cannot control pump pressure. Should sensor appear in the message center, the governor will operate in the RPM mode, even though the message center and the indicator LED will show the operation mode in pressure. This condition should be investigated as soon as practical. If no interlocks are established, no interlock will be displayed in the message center when the mode switch is pressed and the governor will not respond to an increase or decrease request. If the throttle ready interlock is active, you may select RPM mode and RPM mode will be displayed in the message center. If you attempt to select pressure mode, no interlock will be displayed when the mode switch is pressed and the governor will revert to RPM mode and RPM mode will again be displayed in the message center. When the OK to pump interlock is active, pressure mode can be selected and governor operation is identical to RPM mode except that PSI mode is displayed instead of RPM mode and the pressure LED will be illuminated. 
The governor will respond to increase and decrease commands from the increase and decrease switches within the operating capabilities of the engine. When the increase switch is pressed, increase will be displayed in the message center. When the decrease switch is pressed, decrease will be displayed. Each time the increase or decrease switch is released, the current pump pressure is maintained by the governor and the message center will display PSI mode to indicate that the governor is active and which mode it is operating in. The preset switch can be used any time after an operating mode has been chosen to promptly bring the engine or pump to the preset point. The message center will display control increase while the engine is being adjusted and then either RPM mode or PSI mode will be displayed depending on the operating mode that is active. Procedures to program preset pressure and RPM can be found in your vehicle operations manual. Whenever you desire to return to idle, press the idle switch firmly. The message center will display idle request and the engine speed will be reduced to a normal idle. This clears the governor of any temporary pressure or RPM set points and mode will be again displayed in the message center. Upon achieving the desired pump pressure using the preset, increase, or decrease switches, the governor will attempt to maintain that pressure within the limits of the engine and available water supply. Notice that as the pump operator closes the deck gun discharge, the governor compensates by reducing engine RPM to maintain adequate pressure to the hand line that is flowing. The governor may display several warning messages if the pressure cannot be achieved due to insufficient water supply. Control increase will flash if the governor cannot regain the set pressure. If the desired pressure cannot be regained within four seconds, the display will flash operator. While operator is displayed, the governor will not command any additional increase in engine speed and may return to the last engine speed where pressure was achieved. When operator is displayed, the pump operator should intervene to ensure an adequate water supply exists and initiate a new pressure set point using the preset, increase, or decrease switches. Intake will be displayed anytime the governor is operating in the pressure mode and the pump discharge pressure drops below 30 PSI. If the pressure remains below 30 PSI, the display will change to low supply and the engine will be reduced to idle. When low supply is displayed, the governor is no longer active and the operator must ensure an adequate water supply is available and reinstate governing using the mode switch and either the increase or decrease switches. Certain pumping operations can cause significant pressure fluctuations. While operating in pressure mode, the governor will detect and attempt to react to the pressure fluctuations to maintain the desired discharge pressure. On occasion, pressure fluctuations occur so rapidly that the engine and pump speed cannot be adjusted quickly enough to avoid temporary pressure spikes or pressure loss in discharge lines. Pressure fluctuations of this nature normally result from rapidly closing discharge valves or nozzles, improper water supply transitions between draft, hydrant, tank water, and relay operations, pump pressure fluctuations induced by exceeding available water supply or choking off water supply. Attempting to operate the pump while exceeding available water supply or running out of water can create severe discharge pressure spikes and damage the pump. Proper pump governor operation can often minimize or eliminate the possibility of harmful pressure fluctuations. Your governor is equipped with an RPM mode which can be used to limit changes in engine speed during periods of rapidly fluctuating intake pump pressures. During the transition between tank water and draft, the pump operator changes to RPM mode, opens the intake valve, operates the primer to establish water supply, and then reverts back to pressure mode after the water supply has been established. The pump operator should remain vigilant to water supply status 
and revert back to RPM mode during portable tank refilling operations. It is often desirable to operate in RPM mode during the following conditions. During the transition from onboard tank water to a pressurized water source such as a hydrant. The pump operator should open the intake bleeder valve to release trapped air from the supply hose. As the incoming pressure enters the pump, he can manually decrease engine RPM to compensate for incoming supply pressure. Once the transition is made, he will revert back to pressure mode. Relay pump operations should normally be conducted in RPM mode to limit changes in engine and pump speed. The attack unit in the relay will usually be the only governor operating in pressure mode. Recurring training in all aspects of governor operations should be conducted by your training officer. Your department understands the unique hazards present in your community. Follow your department's standard operating procedures for pressure governor operation. Your governor includes built-in diagnostic features that can be accessed through the governor display. Refer to your vehicle operations manual for more information on these features.